Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toasty Bros. And today we have a nice HP Victus that is a little bit more on the budget side. It's in the black version, which we actually haven't gotten to take a peek at yet. And we paid around 500 bucks for it. Now, yes, at the time of recording this video, prices are all over the place. It was $500, so I've seen it at $700. But realistically, if you find this thing at 500 bucks from Best Buy where we picked this up, we probably think it's a really good deal, but we won't know for sure until we open it up. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by ASRock and their B650 Live Mixer motherboard, one of the most unique designs in a motherboard we have seen in a while, while also rocking a 14 plus two plus one power phase design with smart power stage to smoothly power your Ryzen 7000 series CPU. It also comes with a ton of USB options, 23 to be exact, with dual by four expansion slots, along with a Thunderbolt header for all your productivity connection needs. If you're looking to build a new Ryzen 7000 series system that stands out from the crowd, then look no further than the B650 Live Mixer motherboard from ASRock. Check the link down below to learn more. And big thanks again to ASRock for sponsoring today's video. So this HP Victus has a 12100 and a GTX 1650 in it. We've seen the 1650 configuration about a hundred times from HP now because they just do a really good job at getting a really good bang for buck gaming PC that is compact and we've never had a problem with them. That's one of the biggest key points here is they come in this box. There's shipping labels on it, yet we have never had one damaged or anything because they just build them pretty darn well and there's not much that can really go wrong inside. And it's really hard to beat this PC for the price in all honesty. And we're gonna show you why today when why we make these videos because they're just that <laughs> awesome and they keep popping up. Oh, big knife. It has been a while. Crikey. <laughs> Crikey, mate. I got all the specs written on the back here. I can just, oh. I can cheat. So what we have here is a i3 1210F. Oh, what if I didn't know what I was talking about? We I don't. We don't. I don't, we, we, time, we don't yeah, we don't. But yeah, so the 1200F, guys, is the, I guess you could say, successor yeah. um, to the 10100, which is one of our favorite processors. You can get those still for about 80 bucks at the time of filming this video. But obviously, 12 gen's here. You know, you got Gen 4 support. You have really nice DDR5 support. You have all kinds of new things that it supports, Windows 11 natively, um, that actually make it a really good processor. The 12100, you get about 10 to 15% more performance over the normal 10100F. Um, still four cores and eight threads, but I think it's awesome. It's one of my favorite CPUs in the market. Extremely versatile, whether you're, you know, building one of the cheapest, just integrated graphic systems out there, or you're building a system with something like an RTX 3060 even. 1200F just is a really good CPU for that. So, I'm already liking the all black. The all black's nice. We've only seen the white one, and the white one is cool, but it's really nice to see an all black version. Yeah, you know, personally, I'm always a big fan of the all black cases. I respect the all white builds, you know, they definitely look different. It's fun to have them, but it's never been really my cup of tea. I'm more of like the stealthy guy. And I already know that it's gonna look really nice when we're gonna have that mirror um, finish up front. You get this really cool infinity display. I like they did Dusty. that. Yeah, it definitely shows fingerprints and dust a lot more. But yeah, so we got our Victus written on the side here, nice and big. We got some ventilation on the other side. And then in the front port wise, we have a power port. We have a microphone jack, which is a combo headphone jack. We also have, let's see, four USB 3s in the front, one USB-C, awesome connectivity, love to see it. And then in the back, as always, they usually go a little bit more lax on the ports. We have all of our typical audio ports, like separate microphone, separate headphone. Uh, we have th four USB 2s, one ethernet, and then we have our 1650, which looks like it's a single lane card. Um, well, I'm I curious look at to that. see that. That's weird. Yeah, only two display outs. We only get HDMI and DVI. So. You never really know what 1650 you're gonna get. You know, some we've had some that have three, four display outs, but this one has two, which is fine. I doubt most people are gonna buy this wanting to run three monitors. Let's go ahead and open her up, you know? And while Jackson's opening it, I had an idea, and I want you all to comment down below. Would you be interested in a video where we actually try to upgrade this thing a significant amount? Like go with a pretty good GPU, maybe try CPU upgrades, see if they work, change the RAM. Let us know Probably down not. below. They're they don't want to see that. Interested. They don't you you see guys that. don't want to see that. They don't want to see that. Okay, so I take back what I said. This is actually a two lane 1650. They just don't, it doesn't actually have two PCI lanes covered, but you physically could not fit something else in that other lane. So 1654 gig, really awesome card, nice single fan. We got a little bit larger than stock cooler for our 10100 or 1200, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to put this down so Matt can kind of see Ooh, in here. One downside. So, yeah, single channel RAM. I already knew this going into it. I looked it up. I was curious. Yeah, single channel, only eight gigs. I think it's still DDR4 too, because that, you know, it'd be kind of weird. Yeah, 3200 megahertz, eight gig DDR4. 
you're not in the DDR5 with this. I mean, I'm sure HP does have offerings. And I'm sure you can pay for upgrades, um, but you're gonna, need, you're gonna need a whole new motherboard. You can't just throw in a DDR5 stick. It's a whole different layout and everything. We do have an SK Hynix, should be a 512. I know we went a little bit upgraded on that. Uh, yep, 512. We're used to getting 256. That's and nice. We can't fit oh, enough yes. games on it. So 512 is awesome. You do have some upgrade path with this, guys. We have an 80 plus gold. Uh, 350 watt power supply. So theoretically, you could go up to something like a, I want you guys to see this. I love to include it. Something like a 3060, 3050 if you wanted to with this. You could definitely support the power. You also have a hard drive slash SSD tray right here. So you could add yourself a two and a half inch and look how easy HP makes it. They had all your connections right here, ready to go. So. I've always loved that about them. I like the easy interaction. They don't make it like some companies where they just don't want you getting in the computer. They they want you in here. They want you to try to, you know, add some RAM, add yourself some storage. They're not, they're not afraid. They, they want afraid. you inside. <laughs> They want you inside their computer. I totally forgot to look at the keyboard and mouse, guys, and what else the computer comes with. I was so excited about the Victus. So, power cord. It's a power cord. Power you know, what more do you expect? We also have like the quick setup, warranty guide, stuff like that. Look, upgrade screws too for the SSD that you may want to add. Now for the keyboard and mouse, let's see oh. we get black. So for the other one, we actually got white. That was really cool to see. If you get the white Victus, you actually do get a white keyboard and mouse. I love to see that, but yeah. Just generic keyboard and mouse, HP. They're, you know, decent build quality. They're better than the your, my technology geek ones. I will say that. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's make sure this thing actually works. Like I said, we're, gosh, like 30, 30 and 0. I mean, we have never had an HP system show up uh, not working. This is the one. <laughs> oh man, it's talking a big game here. Dude, it's, it's been a lot. I mean, in terms of all of them, like mm. in, including used ones that we bought over the years. Ah. Um, but yeah, we've never ever had a new one show up. Um, not working and it's just crazy to me because their packaging is like decent. I mean you just get two cardboard uh, Trays basically, but like we double box computers and put packaging in the inside and stuff and they'll still show up broken So they just really got it down pat with their packaging. So yeah, as always, this is a Victus It looks great got that yeah. infinity mirror display um, And yeah, it's just a good like easy upgrade from like the pavilion line the pavilion line still exists But this one is just more sleek more minimal and just kind of takes the similar specs and just makes it a little bit more modern So we're gonna go ahead and do as always load up some games see how it performs and then just talk about the value proposition and where you should actually buy this thing and at what price because the price is fluctuating right now. Oh yeah. All right guys, we're playing Apex Legends and we're at medium 1080p max FOV. Medium schmedium. Let's get in here. Yeah. I don't know which way to go. I'm, I'm going to split the difference of my teammates. This is ranked by the way. You <laughs> did ranked? Ranked nice. arenas. He's getting sweaty. I wanted sweaty. the stakes to be higher. Yeah, uh, with this system, we're obviously gonna be limited by the 1650. Uh, the 12100 could handle an even better GP if you wanted to. So realistically, at least 60 plus FPS at 1080p in most of the games we're gonna play. Okay. <laughs> I suck. You think he's benchmarking? Oh, oh definitely. Oh, oh. Crazy with it. Bringing down that strength very quickly. Flying. <laughs> Apex Legends, ladies and gentlemen. At least 60 FPS, medium seconds, 1080p. Kind of what we're expecting from a 1650 nowadays. And uh, Echo, he had more damage, bro. Yeah, I know. Next game. Is. Next game. <laughs> All right, gamers, we are in Call of Duty multiplayer on the basic preset, and uh, not too shabby. 670 FPS. That's a sniper, you ain't gonna. That, that, that was bad. You ain't gonna use that shotgun like the sniper. But yeah, I mean, the latency's okay, um, not the smoothest. When you're getting a system like this, you're definitely gonna do some upgrades if you're gonna wanna play this at like a high refresh rate, very playable experience. <laughs> You know what? No, I'm, I'm, I'm determined. I'm getting a shot here. Last time I did this, it was a, it was a mistake, but we're gonna keep trying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Who is that guy? Oh! Uh, I know you. Oh, hello. Long shot. Oh! 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 Yeah. Oh! Oh! Gosh. Oh! He's oh! Uh, yes. I got him. <laughs> this is it. Yes. 
Um, but yeah, performance is, uh, it's okay. Uh, 60 FPS will get you in um, to playing some Call of Duty on lower settings. <laughs> <laughs> that was an interesting kill cam. But as always, we're gonna stress this thing to its limits, run some built-in benchmarks, and hopefully get some better gameplay than 11 and 20. <laughs> Let's go. All right guys, we just got done benchmarking this HP Victus and it performed pretty well. You know, it's not like the 1650 is a stranger around here, but obviously the 1200F in the single channel RAM in the 1650 is a little bit of a different configuration than we've done in the past. So it's a little bit different, but other than that, it performed just like we thought it would. So yeah, when you're looking for a system at this spec level, you're really not going to spend more than the $500 we spent, especially when you're gonna have to spend some money to upgrade the RAM, you know? You might not find this 512 gig version. You might only find a 250 six gig version at $500. So if you wanna get the most bang for your buck, definitely don't spend much more than $500 for this current config. And if you wanna do some shopping for it, check the link down below. They will be affiliate links and will help us out. And let us know if you decided to do pick one of these bad boys up and do keep an eye out. This time of year is very prevalent for deals on these kind of pre-built desktops. You can get some good value for your money. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros, then do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. This PC right here will be for sale at PCBros.Tech, which is our PC selling business. And if you use a special code that Matt will tell you about, you can save 5%. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Santa 5. 5% 5 off. Ho, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Game PCs, gaming laptops, so much more. See you guys later. Goodbye. Bye.